Now when we talk about these various layers, usually the part about the header is the longest video, and this will not, not be an exception in this case. Let's look first of all at the TCP header. The TCP and UDP headers are quite a bit different from each other, and so uh, we're going to start with the TCP header. First of all, it has entered a source port address. This port is a number that represents the application layer protocol that the information is being sent from. So, for example, if I'm sending it from a browser, then I'm going to give it a port number. Now, we'll describe this a little bit later, but I'm going to assign it a port number before I send it out so that when it comes back, I'll know uh, where to send it. It should go to this particular tab in this particular browser. Next is the destination port address. These are usually better established addresses. So, for example, HTTP goes on port 80, and uh, HTTPS goes on port 443, and so on. Uh, so these are uh, port numbers that, when the receiver receives this information, it knows what application should get this. So this represents a number for an application layer protocol that is to receive the information. The sequence number is just an index number. If I send segment number one, I might label it number one. And then I send segment number two, I might label it number two, and so on. So when the receiver gets them, if it gets them out of order or if it's missing one, it knows how to handle that. It knows how to put them back together, and it knows when to ask for uh, a, a resend. The acknowledgement number is actually the next number up from the last sequence number received. And this is put in a, a segment that's going back from the receiver back to the sender to tell the sender, hey, this is the sequence number I'm expecting next. Uh, by the way, we do use this in window size and error correction. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later on. Next is the header length, just a number that represents how many 4-byte blocks uh, the, the header is in, in, uh, in total. Next we have some flags, and I'm going to go through these flags one by one and kind of describe what they do. The, um, whoop, I missed the urgent flag, didn't I? Well, I'll have to just fill this in since I missed it on my slide. The urgent flag is just a flag that says, hey, if this flag is turned on, these are one-bit flags, so if this is a one, then this urgent pointer uh, field down here uh, needs to be paid attention to. And, it, and this urgent pointer then would say, hey, I need this sequence number and I need it now. Next is the acknowledge flag or the ACK flag. When this flag is set to a 1, it means that this segment is an acknowledgement of the receipt of some other segments sent. So in other words, when the sender sends um, some segments with certain sequence numbers in it, uh, the receiver can send an acknowledgement back to the sender. And that flag would be set so that the sender knows, hey, this segment that just came in is an acknowledgement to something I sent. Next is the push flag. Um, when set in an ACK segment, so in other words, this would usually be turned on along with the ACK flag. The sender then should not wait for an acknowledgement, but should send the next requested segment immediately. The reset flag is used uh, along with the acknowledgement uh, segment in order to uh, say that, hey, this last segment I got was not expected. It was out of place. Uh, what's going on here? Uh, it might even indicate that this is a malicious uh, segment. The send flag or synchronize flag is sent uh, to a receiver to request a communication channel be open. We'll talk more about that later. And then the fin flag or the finish flag is used to end the communication session. Now the window size flag is used along with this acknowledgement number up here in order to tell the sender how many bytes should be sent before uh, the receiver intends to send an acknowledgement back again. Again, we're going to go over that a little bit more uh, detail a little bit later. Checksum is just a calculated field that uh, calculates the, the rest of the information in the header to see if there's a corruption. If there's a corruption, uh, then 
it knows uh, that it should be asking for a resend of that segment. The urgent pointer then is along, if this urge flag is set, uh, used to express, hey, the sender needs to send this specified uh, segment or sequence number in the acknowledge field here uh, urgently. That's it then for the header. There's a lot there. We don't have to memorize each of these, but you should have an awareness of what each of them does.